Does your company design similar products, just at different sizes and configurations? Maybe your sales process requires repeated quilt drawings. Do you have complex design logics and rules that only exist as tribal knowledge within your company? If these components tie up a lot of time to make small changes over and over again, then let me show you an amazing solution that will not only improve productivity, but potentially change how you do business at sales, dealer, or even consumer level. DriveWorks is the ideal solution for companies who design same but different products. You can use the software to drive SolidWorks designs to create and maintain models and their related documents. Reduce repetitive tasks, errors, and rework. Increase sales on a global scale and deliver custom products in a record time by automating the creation of sales quotes, manufacturing documents, and data, including SolidWorks parts, assemblies, and drawings. The DriveWorks software can be used by engineers, sales teams, distributors, and even customers to design and configure to order on any device. Now let's see how we can use a combination of these technologies to create and edit a conveyor assembly for a factory layout. Here's the plant layout that we'll be working with. We need to add and move a conveyor section to suit the need of our customer. We will start by inserting a straight conveyor section to link the two conveyor lines in the middle. We will also need a spur section to link the line to the more narrow section. And finally, we will change the layout so that this curved section changes direction. Let's begin by creating the straight section to fill the gap. On the right hand side is where I will fill in my specifications for this piece. At this point, DriveWorks Solo is driving dimension features and custom properties within all the parts of the subassembly. Once it's done its magic, it automatically inserts it in my assembly and snaps it in place using those magnetic mates. We can conveniently edit the width and length and optionally include side rails right from my DriveWorks menu. And just like that, it will generate the models and all related drawings in the background. Let's move on to the curved section of the layout. This time, we will modify an existing section. We want this conveyor section to go right instead of left. With a simple click, all the related machines move to the follow this new orientation nicely. This is because driver Solo also modifies the definition of magnetic mates without any need for user input. The final change we want is to change this orange conveyor to match the one in the green. To do this, I will modify the straight section to become a spur section instead. Now, I need to configure the spur. We will change the length to 2.2 meters and have the width match the width of the orange conveyor. Lastly, let's change the angle to 30 degrees. With these values entered, we can now preview how this will fit. And just like before, DriveWorks must now recalculate the rules and pass the information back to our SOLIDWORKS model for it to be updated. Once this is done, we can leverage the magnetic mates again to position our part. Our conveyor line is now finished. We can click on Finish All, which will launch DriveWorks Solo to save all of the conveyor sub-assemblies and dimension and publish all related drawings automatically. Now, I would like for you to ask yourself how much time you and your team are currently spending doing repetitive tasks such as generating configurations, populating parts, and laying out production drawings every time a project comes in. Contact Javelin and our world-renowned team of experts who can deliver you the technology, training, and the services to get up and going fast.